There aren't many places in Canada as ruggedly beautiful as Tobiano. This Canadian gem was designed by legendary architect Thomas McBroom and was recently rated as the 90th best golf course in the world by Golf Digest. Tobiano features a plethora of dry ravines, narrow ridges, and beautiful dunes, making it a firm test of golf with many forced carries. None more difficult and picturesque than the beautiful par 3 7th hole. Louis Oesterhausen claims Tobiano to be one of the top five golf courses he's ever played and its reasonable green fees and public access makes Tobiano Golf Course the best value championship golf course in North America. Honestly, it's really that good. So let's jump in and show you some highlight holes. We'll start here at the opening hole. This is a par five stretching 560 yards. I make a very committed swing, but I'm definitely scared of that ravine on the left and block this well right. Let's go ahead and look back on the first hole. This is honestly one of the most beautiful vantage points from the entire golf course, and it really gives you a preview of what you're going to see today. As I mentioned, there's beautiful ravines, amazing forced carries, and these beautiful natural sand dunes. And again, it's a link style course right on this lake. Get ready for a treat. We'll jump ahead to the third hole, which just plays 160 yards as a par three. This is my buddy Greg, who hits a fantastic shot to the center of the green. And this is my driver swing on the fourth hole. Managed to make some good contact here with my patented draw. Find the center of the fairway, and we have an easy approach shot. This is a nice little wedge right to the center of the green. And we're now off to one of the most beautiful holes on the entire property. This is the fifth hole, stretching 480 yards. Let's take a look at my tee shot here. Actually hit a pretty decent shot, block this a little bit to the right so I don't catch that speed slot. But let's go ahead and show you the view from the fairway. And if you hit the perfect drive like my friend Greg did, this is where you're going to be. You're going to hit that speed slot, shoot all the way down, and he just has a short wedge in. Now, in order to score well at Tobiano, you're going to have to really find the fairway here. This is the six hole, another challenging tee shot here where I'm challenging that bunker on the left. And now we're going to go ahead and jump to the green of the six hole, looking back on that fairway. And again, this is one of the beautiful infinity greens, looking on this beautiful Kamloops Lake, playing with two local members here. Both of these members are original members of Tobiano when it first opened up. And honestly, the views on every hole are just absolutely stunning. As we approach the seventh tee box, we can see the beautiful Canada Pacific Railway line. And here we are. This is the signature hole, which by far is one of the most challenging par threes that I've ever played. This is 183 yards. As you can see, it's a 100% force carry going straight over the middle of a ravine. And honestly, this is probably one of the most difficult par threes I've ever played. There's nowhere to miss. Anything that's long, short, left, or right is essentially dead. You basically just have to step up and hit a golf shot, and that's exactly what we do. I love playing iconic holes, and notice the good rhythm and balance in the swing. This was an absolute stunner of a tee shot with my 7-iron that found the center of the green. So this is the view from behind the seventh green again. This is the par three that we just played. And now we're gonna pan over here. And every iconic golf course in the world, they, one of the most valuable things that they have is the piece of land that, that God had created here. I mean, look at this natural topography that, that, that Thomas McBroom, the architect of Tobiano had to work with. Again, he didn't have to move much land. These are natural ravines. This is exactly how the lay of the land looked. And he basically just carved this magnificent golf course in this rugged landscape. And this is a stunning hole here. This is one of my favorites. This is another par five, a demanding tee shot over a ravine. Let's go ahead and see how we do here. Absolutely hit one of my best drives of the day right down the center. We are gonna be in position A with a chance to go to this green in two shots. This is a 569 yard par five, but we've hit the speed slot. We're playing downhill. And look at this approach shot coming into this green. Absolutely stunning. We've got the clubhouse, houses in the background, we've got the marina there. We've hit a five iron here, flighted this low, and basically just going to allow this to chase up to the front part of the green. Here's that beautiful marina again. And look at this beautiful hole. This is the ninth hole. And this is a stunning hole that really stood out to me just because of the, land, the way that they've built that. Look at that fairway, how that stretches in, the use of the natural land. This is an absolute beauty of a golf hole. We're on the 10th hole here and we hit another bomb drive right down the middle. And this is gonna be a lot of fun because the start of the back nine goes straight uphill. And then the last few holes are coming back downhill to the clubhouse. 
This is the 12 hole, which is a 232 yard par three that was actually playing dead into the wind, probably playing around 260 yards. This was a beast of a golf hole and something I don't wanna play again from those tees. Let's jump ahead to the next par five, the 13th hole. Pretty decent tee shot here. Kind of leaked a little bit right on me, but it's a three shot hole because this is playing dead into the wind. And the 13th hole is straight up the hill, challenging par five, but you are rewarded with the 16th hole, which plays completely downhill. So again, a very difficult par five on the back, followed by a very easy par five. We're at the 440 yard par four 14th hole, and this was one of my best swings of the day. Absolutely pummeled this tee shot, straight downwind and take a look at the view from the golf cart. This is by far one of the most impressive and most beautiful drives I've ever had in a golf cart here. Greg and I immediately had to take out the camera, capture this in, but honestly, have you seen anything like this? You've got an infinity green that is stretching back to a beautiful lake, the mountains in the backdrop. I mean, honestly, this is one of the most beautiful golf holes that I've ever played in my life. We're gonna take a look at the beautiful green complex on the 14th. Let's go ahead and pan around. Notice the rain clouds in the distance here. And this is our first look at the signature par three on the Tobiano property. This is the 15th hole, which from the championship tees plays 180 yards. Again, it's hard to pick a single favorite hole. They're all just signature holes out here. And here's my buddy Greg with a nice smooth iron shot. He played really well that day. And he hit this right to the center of the green made a very nice easy two putt par. And let's go ahead and keep it with Greg. We're gonna watch him pummel this drive right down the 16th hole. I mentioned this before, this is the par five that goes straight downhill and gives you a great opportunity for scoring here. I also hit a really good drive here. Let's go ahead and watch my second shot into this par five. As you can see in the distance, those rain clouds are coming in and, and rain and very fast weather changes is something that you need to be prepared for. Unfortunately, those rain clouds did come in. We didn't get a chance to record the 17th or 18th hole, but mark my word, this is a phenomenal golf course. And I hope you enjoyed this short preview of the Tobiano Golf Course. If you are coming to Canada and you're coming to the British Columbia region, make sure that you visit Kamloops and come cross Tobiano off your bucket list. This is a first class experience, truly one of the most amazing golf courses in Canada. Everyone, my name is Cyrus. Thanks for tagging along in today's video. And I look forward to sharing with you more golf vlogs and more travels around the world.